Hey guys, so we have more McKenna Grow issues and I know I just talked about it, but we were talking about it again. Well, but we will talk about it again. So subscribe to the bell icon for engagement. Let's get into it. So as you guys know, Michaela recently got married and in order to get married, she had to get engaged and that will come into play a little bit later. And for her kind of wedding type collaboration that she did for makeup, she did the e.l.f. lipstick lip liner set. And people were kind of upset about it because it felt like it was like using her wedding day as a way to sell makeup. And they were giving these out at her wedding at like a little e.l.f. booth that she had. And people just felt like it was really odd. It was an odd choice. She apparently wore it on her wedding day, which people tried to disprove, but we kind of have no proof for it. I don't know. And the thing is, I think people were kind of confused about this whole thing because coming up to her wedding day she did this series of trying to find the best makeup for her wedding day so we like going through primer foundation powder you know she was in touch with so many companies and companies were sending her makeup that they thought would be perfect for her wedding day and I bet she got tons of PR made tons of money from affiliate links of or even just like sponsorships disclosed or undisclosed of makeup that is kind of wedding proof wedding chosen and I had a feeling this whole time that there was something fishy going on with it and the thing is she ended up getting her makeup done by Makeup by Mario and he obviously used his set of makeup that he wants to use so I just feel like the whole series and and her trying all this makeup to pick what is going to be used for her wedding felt a little bit pointless and just a way to get companies to one send her makeup two maybe offer her sponsorships three offer her affiliate links and sell makeup because if it's wedding proof it's going to sell better when Makeup by Mario obviously he used makeup by Mario makeup because he was obviously going to use mainly his stuff because that's what he created it for. So it just felt a little bit pointless and people were obviously upset at Elf at the time because this was just off the back of like the L'Oreal mascara gate stuff and you know she invited James Charles to her wedding which with his recent allegations is... I'm not talking about his recent allegations because it just feels like there isn't proof other than the video but do I personally personally believe that this is a possibility that could have happened absolutely but it, it just does feel a little bit pointless to film a whole video about it without getting much evidence because I don't want it to be a repeat of whenever it was that Death Noodles got cancelled for the fake James Charles allegations even though there was only like one or two fake ones and the rest were allegedly real but it just kind of I feel like it dilutes the real ones if you report on the fake ones I don't know if that's just me but I just wanted to mention it that I have seen the James Charles allegations I'm just not covering them extensively on until I kind of get a little bit more proof going. But she did invite James Charles knowing who he is and what kind of person he is. So it just feels like the whole thing was quite tainted. Now since then, there were kind of hints at something between her and P. Louise. She has been mentioning P. Louise about as much as Jack and Hill mentioned Morphe back in the day. Like everything's just P. Louise, P. Louise, P. Louise. And recently, she went on what seemed to be a brand trip for P. Louise, but it wasn't kind of. Um, so she films this TikTok about how P. Louise invited her to the UK and kind of set up this hotel room for her. Travel with us to the UK, head into England. And I knew it was going to be a long day, so I fueled up on some breakfast. First, we had a flight into New York City. Got to watch the beautiful sunset. Then from there, we headed to our flight to go to England. It was a red-eye overnight flight, and I regret to inform you that I failed to sleep on the flight. I tried. Mixture of excitement and nerves. I just could not sleep. Anyways, a driver took us to the hotel, and you are about to see the most insane room reveal that I've ever seen. My jaw is on the floor. If you haven't guessed it, I'm in Manchester with P. Louise. Look at how they decked out my room. I have never seen anything like this. This is insane. It was almost too much to digest. Like, I was, like, flustered. It was so much stuff. I, I am in utter awe. I am so impressed. I cannot wait to try all these UK snacks. Anyways, you guys know how much I love P. Louise, and I am so excited to be here with them. You're not going to believe what's coming next. It is so sick. Stay tuned. I'm in shock. <laughs> And we were kind of wondering what all of that was about. And turns out she's coming out with a collaboration with P. Louise. And she has now shown it. They've shown it on the P. Louise Instagram and TikTok on the Michaela TikTok and Instagram, as well as Trend Mood recently talks about it. Now, both of these, P. Louise and Michaela, are obviously going to filter the comments to make them as positive as possible. But Trend Mood is really where the real opinions come to flourish, right? We see them there. Now, the collaboration is this massive, well, it's a massive collection as a whole. There's lashes, there's brushes, there's liquid blushes and liquid highlights. And this massive eyeshadow palette. 
it is full of blues and then just like a section there's a clear cut off where it's like here is a blue palette and now here is a brown palette it would have actually kind of made sense to make them into literally those two separate palettes but also bulk down the blue so the two palettes are the same four by five so i just feel like a lot of these are repeat blue shades and they could have just cut it down and then i feel like she would have had maybe like a neutral and a or maybe just one of those like book like it opens and it's just like the neutrals and the blues if she wanted to kind of combine that i just feel like it's odd that it's like uneven amounts of shades so there's more blues than the new so it looks a little bit mismatched and then there's it's just a cutoff point and it's massive it's an absolutely humongous palette right and this is a palette that i thought was going to be well i thought the whole collection was just going to be like winter themed it's actually themed for her engagement and it's coming out on the day that she got engaged so the palette says on it to have and to hold in case you get cold and the whole kind of photo shoot was with cody it was like winter themed but with cody in it and they had this whole launch party and he was at the launch party so it's very weird and on her tiktok it says introducing the first of many products in my p louise x michaela collection my xl palette to have and to hold in case you get cold featuring 50 gorgeous matte shimmer shades perfect for the colder months this palette is inspired by my engagement and wedding and i cannot wait to share more about it with you it's launching on the 20th of november which is her wedding no it's her engagement anniversary people did make the connection that it definitely looks like the blue blood palette from jeffree star and jeffree star did shade her during the lash gate situation you know he did a review of the mascara he literally came back to the internet to do a review of the mascara he invited her to wyoming which she declined and since then i feel like things have been a bit that's what I think. Now, there is a little bit of drama with this launch. Um, it's a little bit of a shit show, if I can say that myself. Uh, One, there is a video of them swatching the palette and it seems like they are going over pre-swatch swatches. And we know that people have been doing this for years in the beauty community. This is just one of those lies where I'm like, why would you do that if your palette swatches well? It makes me think your palette doesn't swatch well, but then again, swatches aren't the be all end all of palettes. It's how it blends and looks on the eye. So I just feel like if you can't get good swatches, then just don't do this type of video. But you can quite clearly see where the finger is covering up where there is already a pre-existing swatch and they're just going over it to make it look more blinding and amazing and someone said the pigmentation is beautiful how many swipes is that thought it was one until the end because people could see at the end that they're doubling up the swatches now here is a, actually a picture that i saved of the whole collection and here is a tiktok of michaela kind of showing the whole collection and it is absolutely humongous but it's very p louise themed like p louise has a very specific makeup style makeup product look the other piece of drama was there was absolute confusion about where and how you could buy this makeup if you're from the us so p louise is a uk based company so the website is uk based and if you bought anything from the p louise website the shipping is going to be more expensive and you pay customs on it now there are a few issues people were struggling because this came out around black friday so people were looking for black friday sales when you clicked on the website it was just like michaela and like you couldn't find the black friday stuff so people are just saying like we're not here for michaela we want black friday sales but we can't get there because everything is themed around Michaela. So people are complaining about that. You guys have almost sold us out. But today I'm here to clear up any confusion. Now we officially have two websites. We have one which is plouise.co.uk. Now this is for our UK babes and the rest of the world. But we know that Michaela's fan base is mainly the US and America. So we have opened a site just for the US. This website means that anyone from the US who purchases Michaela's collection via the US website, which is us.plouise.co.uk. They will only have to pay around $6 shipping. They won't have any customs to pay. And it overall makes it a lot cheaper for our US babes as it's shipped from America. However, if you're wanting to purchase Black Friday sale items, such as the AM to PM collection at OG products, just like the P. Louise B, you can shop at 80% off sale via our UK website. Now this is plouise.co.uk and this is for everyone. Currently on the US website, there is only the Michaela collection. Now for our UK and the rest of the world babes, you can shop the Michaela collection by a TikTok shop, also a website. If you want to get your hands on the P. Louise X Michaela collection, you need to be fast because there's not a lot of remaining stock babes. 
lots of love, the P. Louise team and Michaela. So I'm here to show you how to access the site. So this is the UK, plouise.co.uk. You will open the page on our brand new collection where you can shop the collection. You simply add it to cart and check out. Now, if you're from the US, we do not recommend you use the UK site and you use your own site, which is us.plouise.co.uk. You will come across a pop-up which asks you to choose your location and you need to make sure you choose the correct location. Now on the US website, you can only shop our P. Louise X. Michaela collection and when you add to car and you check out your shipping is around six dollars which makes it a lot cheaper however babe if you're wanting to shop our Black Friday collection with up to 80% off you need to do this via the UK website and if you didn't manage to get your hands on the P. Louise X. Michaela collection restock coming soon. Two this is going to heavily affect shipping times which shipping times have already been very difficult with P. Louise for example people ordered the advent calendar for December obviously you want to open on the first and they still haven't even received a shipping notification so i don't know how it's going to get to people for first of december when you realistically want to unbox your first window people said that they put an order down end of september it's now end of november it's not even like it hasn't been shipped or maybe like it's in transit they haven't even gotten a shipping notification which the p louise owner had to address in a tiktok so this is just a quick update from me before i go to bed if you have ordered, join my live. If you have ordered, join Black Friday um, from the 1st of November. Please allow 10 working days for your order to be dispatched. If you've ordered through TikTok and you are worried that your order is going to be cancelled because you get an automated message, then this is not the case during Black Friday, so you're fine. Um, it's just like an auto message that gets sent out. If you choose to cancel your order, then your order will not be dispatched. If you choose to wait, then you will get your goodies and get to keep that up to 80% off deal. I just wanted to give some transparency. Um, again, I know that there's been some errors with like body butters and the wrong lids going out. This is because we're using a new um, shipping company. So again, total apologies. I'm so embarrassed, but we will work our hardest to get it resolved. I just want to reassure everyone that your orders will be with you. You will be obsessed. Um, and just want to say a massive thank you for all the love and support. I know how hard it is to be patient when shopping online. Um, but P. Louise is not going anywhere so trust me your order is safe with me and I will make sure that we are pushing to get these orders out there's been a huge influx because of the up to 80% off sale so we're just working through the backlog but if you ordered on the first and it still hasn't updated then please allow 10 working days um, of course the first had the biggest spike if you have seen that your order from maybe the 4th or the 5th has gone before the one from the 1st, then this is just down to batching. Um, it's just the way the system works. So yes, just know that we're on it. I wanted to keep it as transparent as possible and just know that we truly value you here at P. Louise. Last piece of drama to do with the launch is that they actually did a whole separate website, a US website for the P. Louise Michaela launch, knowing that Michaela has a mainly US audience that it might just be easier to kind of ship some of the products from a, an American warehouse and therefore have an American website so that you don't have to pay customs and as much shipping. Tell me why they didn't really publicize this. So people from America went on the UK website and ordered from the UK website, which means they're now gonna be charged customs for it. And a lot of it was like 30 to $50 shipping. And about 20 something minutes after the launch, uh, Michaela posted this TikTok. Okay, we are live on the website with the collection. It's only been about 23 minutes, but it's going crazy. So I just wanna let you know of one thing. There are two websites technically because we have UK and USA. So let me show you. When you go to the P. Louise website, technically you're going to end up at plouise.co.uk and you can click here to shop the collection. Now, what you want to do, if, if you're in the USA, if you go up here on the tabs, click on USA. This is going to take you to a USA version of the website and then you can shop and things are not sold out. So don't worry. Basically telling everyone that there was a US website all along where the shipping is cheap and you don't get charged customs. So now there are comments saying, 
I wish I knew this before I ordered, lol. I spent like $60 in shipping alone. How can I fix this? You know, people wanting to cancel and maybe reorder. Michaela, I feel like you should have been more clear. I ended up paying $51 plus $13 shipping on my order. Someone said, my mom is so upset because we were unaware of the USA website and she spent an extra $70 trying to get me your collection for Christmas. She didn't even get every piece. When we went on the US store, the whole bundle was $70 cheaper. It is not fair or right to not announce the USA website before launch. And she did link the USA website in one of her launch kind of announcements but it seems like the caption was edited because it says edited on it so it seems like she had added the USA website in afterwards maybe it was like an afterthought but people have now spent so much money on shipping when really there was a USA website all along and Michaela's posted another TikTok basically being like don't worry like the products will still get to you if you ordered from the US on the UK website but that's not the point people are not worried that the products are not going to get to them they're worried because then they now spent essentially double the money on shipping alone as in double of what they spent on the product so you know what I mean? When they could have spent like $5 or whatever it is to, to get the shipping. So that's not, so the problem that they're not gonna get it is the problem that not everyone has multi-millions of dollars. Some people work regular day jobs and they've spent their hard earned money on your launch and now they've spent X amount of shipping and customs that they shouldn't have spent because you were unorganized. How cool is that? Uh, that's amazing and yeah i think that is actually it do i have any other updates no that's basically it so if you guys ordered let me know if you were confused about this launch let me know let me know anything you want about michaela this launch p louise anything in the comment section down below and i'll see you guys in my next one bye guys